Hi, I'm Alex from NME, and today we're with the stars of Hillbilly Elegy, Glenn Close and Amy Adams. So guys, there is a lot of emotion in Hillbilly Elegy. Sadness, grief, anger. How tough was it to have your head in that place every day? You know, it's always a challenge when you're playing characters that um, sort of live in this passionate space. Um, however, working with Glenn, working with the actors we work with, working with Ron, who sets such a positive tone, it really makes it a positive experience. And it's such a pleasure to get to dive into these characters and in, into their humanity. What about you, Glenn? Uh, I just was so inspired by Amy, what Amy did, because I think it's very hard for an actor to not uh, ask for pity. pity might be the wrong word, but um, and to, to be so true to a character uh, through the good and the bad. And I think what that does is ultimately makes a, a very, very compelling uh, character that you that you understand and can feel empathy and compassion for. And, and I think um, Amy's performance is towering in that sense, in that you, through her pain, you feel her humanity and her struggle. And um, I think it's one of the most moving, you know, my favorite moment in the movie, well, one of my favorite moments is when it's very subtle and I want to know if you did it on purpose, but it's when, when, when uh, JD is finally leaving and Amy, Amy is on the bed and she just opens her hand and lets him go. I, I, it makes me have a lump in my throat. Just, so. Glenn, you play a very intimidating granny in this film. I was scared of you for a lot of it. How did you build that character? Was it based on past roles? Was it personal memories? Tell me a bit about that. No, we, we all uh, had the time to meet the family. Uh, of course, Mama is no longer here, but we each, each one of us had individual time with the members of the family who were available in Ohio. And I just had a whole list of characters that I, I mean, uh, questions that I asked. So she is actually uh, based on Mama, on, on what their family said, on the pictures, on videos that I saw. And then, you know, trying to, to kind of, you know, get into my bones uh, who, I thought, who I thought she was. There have been some negative reviews which criticise the film's politics. Should people who don't sort of get along with parts of its message still be able to enjoy Hillbilly Elegy? I, th I think so. Amy, would you like to tell me what you think oh, about that? absolutely. I think the themes of this movie are very universal, whether it be generational trauma, whether it be just uh, examining where we come from to understand where we're going and who we are. I think the universality of the themes of the movie far transcend politics. It wasn't made with politics in mind. It was made, you know, Ron's intent, and I think he succeeded magnificently, is to tell the story of a very specific family. And maybe should critics be able to put politics aside when they're writing about a film? Because it's art should be objective, shouldn't it? I mean, I never would presume to say what critics should or shouldn't do. Everybody, you know, has a voice and can use it how they choose to use it. So, I mean, would it be nice if politics could be set aside? But at the same time, I understand that people have a voice and, and, and choose to use it in that way. Uh, another question for you, Glenn. Next year, it will be 30 years since Hook came out. I had no idea until the other day that you have a cameo in that film. Can you tell our viewers how that came about and what it was like? Uh, I was visiting the set with my daughter, who I think was about three years old. And uh, Steven Spielberg just said, would you like to be a pirate? And I said, sure. <laughs> That's how it came about. And then wonderful Anthony Powell, who was doing the costumes and, and helped design the makeup, he, he did, you know, 101, 102 and Sunset Boulevard. So uh, he made me into a fantastic pirate. Thanks so much, guys, for chatting to me. Wonderful. Lovely.